Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to configure System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 to alarm to the System Manager alarming service using SNMP v2. Let's go over a few key points before we begin. System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 serviceability agents must be configured to send SNMP v2 traps to the System Manager alarming service. This applies to both new installations and upgrades to release 6.2. All configuration is performed using the System Manager 6.2 web interface. This applies to both the System Manager and Session Manager serviceability agent. Also, there is no other configuration required directly in System Manager or the Session Manager server like there was for previous releases. Another important point, the serviceability agent configuration must match the System Manager SNMP v2 host configuration for this to work. And finally, here are summary of steps needed to accomplish this task. First, we'll validate or update the System Manager SNMP v2 host configuration. We'll then create a target profile matching this configuration. Once that's done, we'll then assign this target profile to the System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 serviceability agent. We'll begin by logging into our System Manager server with the admin account or any account with admin level privileges. I'll go ahead and provide my credentials and then press log on. Okay, now that we've authenticated, the first step is to validate or define the SNMP v2 host configuration. We'll do that by clicking on the configurations link under services. We'll then expand settings on the left navigation pane. We'll come down and we'll expand system manager. Below here, we'll look for the Trap Listener link and click on that. And as you can see here, here's where we can either validate or define the V2 parameters. Now I've chosen to go ahead and use what's here. In particular, you'll want to make note of the community string and the Trap Listener port. If you did want to make changes to these parameters, you would just go ahead and click on the Edit button and make the changes as needed. Let's now move on to the second half of the configuration. So we'll click on the Home tab. Now from here, We'll click on Inventory under Elements. On the left, we'll go ahead and expand Manage Serviceability Agents so that we can create our SNMP target profile. Now before we do that, let's make sure that our agents are active. So we'll click on Serviceability Agents. And as you can see here, I have two Session Managers and one System Manager, all of which have the status of active. So now I'll click on SNMP Target Profiles. I'll then click New. Now here, I'll provide the same data that I confirmed for the host configuration. I'll provide a name for this target. I'll then provide a brief description. I'll enter the IP address of my system manager because this is where both my serviceability agents will be sending their traps to. I'll update the port to match that of my host, so that was 10162. I'll then make sure that the notification type is trap change the protocol to version 2, and then confirm that the community string is public. Once I've confirmed these details, I'll go ahead and press commit. And as you can see here, we now have an entry for our system manager server. The final step is now to then push this data down to our serviceability agents. Now you can click on the checkbox next to each individual agent, or you can select them all at once by clicking on the checkbox above. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll then press the Manage Profiles button. From here, I'll click on the SNMP Target Profiles tab. And as you can see here, there's the profile that we created under Assignable Profiles. I'll click the checkbox next to that. I'll then press Assign. And then I'll go ahead and press Commit to save my changes. And that completes the process. Your System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 are now configured to send SNMP v traps using the v2 protocol to the System Manager alarming service. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.